At E3 2006, Nintendo first revealed Super Mario Galaxy to the public. In the demo, it was revealed that the toads had stars on their heads. These mysterious toads never made it into the final game and were replaced by Lumas. The people making the fake plushies must have seen the E3 footage to put these into production. Even though these are fake plushies, they are oddly very hard to find. These are mostly certain out of production, and we quickly purchased this bundle because it was $20, and they are very rare. Join us as we review the set of the three cosmic toads. And as again, there are no dimensions for these plushies, but we do speculate they're around the same size as the old official and new Super Mario Bros. Wii ones. So let's begin one off with the red toad. We really like this one. It looks really like the old official toads. They really did a huge job on these. The embroidering is kind of coming off, but that's not a big problem. They did a really good job on the face. We really like the way it looks. It looks really like the old one. But the funny thing for all of them is that they have no neck. So like if we get our old blue toad, it like has a neck. This doesn't. It's kind of funny that they don't have a neck, so it doesn't fall off over time. But anyways, it feels like they actually painted the stars too with this weird material, because it feels like how most things Sine paints on. So that they did a really awesome job, the bootleggers. And now, yeah, the shoes are really good. We love the embroidery. They're really amazing for being fakes. They're really hard and stiff, so you can't take them off. And of course, here's a Nintendo tag, what the bootleggers use. You'll see on it because they were used, but still in good condition. Yeah, the bordering looks uh, it like looks like it's coming off on the eyes, but that's not really of a big of a problem. But yeah, anyways, the hat is really good. We love the embroidery back here. It's really amazing. But the only thing is that the um, vest again, like for most bootleg toads, it's like all papery and stuff. Didn't do a really good job on that. But that's not really big of an issue. And for the hands, they're really neatly embroidered, but the fact is that they have no stuffing, so they just flop. In the photo for this cutie, the blue toad, it looks like it didn't even have another hand because it was like behind it in the photos because it wasn't stuffed at all. But anyways, this is a fairly neat plush and it has beads. We know that Sine only does beads for them. No faker has ever used beads. It seems like all the long Nintendo tag fakes always have beads in them somewhere. So they're trying to probably base them off of real official ones. But we're specula speculating something with our Birdo, our Dry Bones, and um, Mecha Koopa. But we'll say that right after we reveal all of these. So yeah, this is a really decent plush. We really love it. We are so lucky to have it. We love the Red Toad. It's one of our favorites. And here's a comparison of the Blue Toad. They look really the exact same. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure they base them off of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii ones. Or the old ones. But we're not sure. These bootlegs probably started to pop out whenever the old Toads came out and the new Super Mario Bros. Wii ones. Except for like the Mario Party 5 ones, but yeah. Based off of the old official one. So now let's move on to the blue one. This is the best out of the set. So now let's get on to the blue Toad again. So this guy is the best one as I already said. We love this one so much. It's one of the best ones. Here's its long Nintendo Tag DS. Um, because it's used. And it has its beads in the butt, too. But the thing is that the biggest flaw is that, like, the vest sticks up. So you can't make it stay down because all the fake toads, for some reason, just have papery vests. That's the only problem we have with the cosmic toads and any bootleg toad. But this thing looks like some of the, some of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii toads. I'll pull up a photo, like, whenever we do the next shoot, like, to give a comparison of one of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii ones to show how much it looks exactly like this. It's really amazing that they did a really good job on these. I feel like some bootleggers just, like, mess up the plush a lot. Like, they don't care how it looks. But some of these look really passionate about it. They seem... Like, they actually want to make it look really real. Like how the Sine ones are. And honestly, I personally like how the it's more of an oval shaped for the hat. I just really like it instead of the circle like that. I just really like it. Kind of has a squished face, but not really. That's the way it is. See, this is the one. Like, if I show it like from this angle, I don't know if it, can you see that hand? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, so you can't see it on camera. But you would probably, if it was like here, if you can see it, can you? Yeah, you can see it. But it's like back because there's no fluff in it. But they did a really good job doing the details. So it's kind of sad to see that they didn't actually fluff it. But anyways, this is a really good plush. The embroidering right there. I think you can see a little stitch. But anyways. It also has the paint for the star. We really love the blue. It's the exact same color of blue as this. So here's a quick comparison. 
And here's a quick comparison with the cat toad. The faces look similar. And they're the same color of blue. Except for the vest. It's actually dark blue still. Papery. Same size. Still in the sitting pose. Both. But yeah, this is a really, really good plush. All the embroidery detail is really amazing. And here's a quick comparison of one of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Toads compared to this. You can see that they look really the same, which is really amazing. Now, let's get on to Yellow Toad. Here's a quick overlook of him. You probably noticed right off the bat that this one's based off of the Mario Party 5 Toad, which we still want to get. Compared to this one, you can see that it has a smile, the eyes are bigger. This one's based off of the old toads, and this one's based off of the MP5 toad. But this one, this one looks okay, not as good as those two here, but still looks really good. We love this one a lot. And this feels like they didn't actually paint the star on. It feels like the regular fabric, because this one still kind of feels a little dry, hardish. Not as soft as this one, but yeah. Star Toad, yellow one. And what's really unique about this one is that it's actually a blue vest. You don't see yellow toads with a blue vest every day in your life. And it's just yellow vests. But it's really nice that they actually gave it a blue vest. I honestly think it still looks good because it still has a yellow outline anyways. Like all the vests still fit all the toads. It, like if they're all blue, it would still fit them really good. Except for maybe other colors that they would invent. But yeah, the embroidering, we really love the embroidering on the smile. It looks really good. The only thing is that the embroidering is kind of coming off on the eyes uh, for that part. But anyways, yeah. They sewed it down there, which looks really nice. They tried to do it as best as they could. And again, the they have really amazing hand detail. But then again, it's not stuffed. And then it, it's beads in the butt. And then it also has its shoes, has the same colors and stuff. Except they don't have the sole detail, but it doesn't really matter because they're awesome. Here's its tag stuff, but yeah. Again, here's a quick comparison, and yeah. Again, I'm going to do some more comparisons with them. So here's a comparison with the cat toad with the blue one. Not with the blue one, not with the blue one. Face looks the same. This, these two faces look really the same, except the eyes are a little closer and bigger on this one. And that, oh, and here's the blue ones, same color of blue, kind of, yeah. This one seems a little darker side, but yeah. We know this doesn't relate to the toads, but we have to tell you the sad truth about Mecha Koopa, our old dry bones, our old Mecha Koopa and Birdo. We know this that all the fakes of the bootlegs use this tag. Sene does not use them. No company makes them. It's just the bootlegs. They look official, right? They have beads. Well, Alberto, we're speculating, even though this looks exactly like the old official one, it's fake. We know it's fake. For a fact, because there's one major difference on the feet. I'll have to pull up a photo right next to her if you get a photo, like, on the side right there. But yeah, look. Tag's about to fall off anyways. But look, it's a long Nintendo tag. And all the bootleggers use that. No official company uses that. It looks exactly like the old official one. And these look exactly like the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Toads. And this one kind of looks similar to the Mario Party 5 one. But to tell you the truth, our Birdo, Mecha Koopa, and Dry Bones are fake. Fake, 100% fake. Because this thing looks like the exact model of the Senate one. And then there's beads in the stomach, right? So you're probably going to think it's official. But the biggest difference is here. Every single Sine Birdo, don't say it might just be a manufacturer flaw, it's fake. Every single Sine Birdo we've seen has a, um, does not have a burger around the soles of her feet and scratchy material in the middle. It's all soft and no embroidery. It's all this whole circle and a lighter peach colored and it's soft fabric, the same fabric as this. As all, of the, as all of this. So I have to sadly say it's fake. Because we've seen no Sine use that long tag. And I'll also get Mecha. I'll also get Dry Bones. Because Mecha Koopa looks exactly like the old one. There's no made. There's no like differences. Like the Birdo and the Dry Bones. Compared to the actual old ones by Sine. And we did after all. We did not get this from Hastings or anything. Or anything. So we, we did get this off of a stock image. And I'm pretty sure this came from China. It was like a stock photo. It was eBay anyway, so. 
We have to sadly make some closure that our bird all looks like the exact same one, but just the tag and this gave it away. All every single old official dry bones does not have a suction cup. Ours does, and the face kind of looks like it's all squished up. And stuff like the eyes because we saw that the old one looks a lot like the all-star one but the old the old one we have is more tiny than we actually thought it was it was like a little tinier than the old official one because we've compared it to photos and we noticed some differences like the shell it kind of looks like there's not enough room for the patterns or anything but with all that long nintendo stuff and we're safe to say that our mecha koopa birdo and what do you call it? What are they? OGI dry bones is probably fake because we did get every single one from a stock image on eBay. We didn't get them from Hastings. But thank you so much for watching again. I hope you like that story. So if you have any long Nintendo one, tag one, it's safe to say it's fake because Sine never used those. Only the bootlegs we've seen uses. But again, thanks, thank you so much for watching that little detail about these and all of these beauties based off Mario Galaxy. Again, have a great day. Goodbye.